All right guys, what's up? So I figured I would do a review on these new headlights. Uh, a lot of you were asking how the fitment is, how everything was, quality and whatnot. So we'll do a quick review and uh, an install. Kind of got a surprise here. Um, Zentech LED for the fogs. And then uh, I went ahead and tried out this XK, XK Glow. Uh, here are good things. Also LED uh, with the Demon Eye feature. So we'll see how those look in here. Um, here's kind of a comparison. Here's the old ones from back in the day compared to the new ones. Pretty much the same. A few minor differences. Uh, pretty decent quality. Um, the two things. I guess are the bad things. Um, this seal isn't really up to what I would consider a good quality. Um, it doesn't really fit against the body too well. I was gonna change it out, but the way they made these tabs, um, I actually already broke one off trying to get this off, but uh, the tabs are bigger than the holes in the seal. So I guess it's gonna stay. The other problem is, I already changed it on this one. So the adjusters, which is how you mount it on the car, uh, follows a certain shape and size to get in there. Well, the ones that come on these headlights, the gray ones are the wrong shape, size, and you can see here on ours it's offset the ones they give are kind of straight across and it took me a few minutes to figure that out but uh, yeah so right out of the box you can't put these in the car so you got to take your adjusters off your existing headlights assuming they're not rusted on there and put yours on the new headlights as far as the lenses and everything, everything looks almost identical. The reflector, same thing, almost identical. So yeah, I'll uh, record swapping these out for those of you that don't really know how to do it. Uh, it's not too difficult. These ones luckily come with either your you know, the hex head or the Phillips in it. Makes it real easy. Stock ones, not so much. They're a star bit, They're like a reverse star bit. I have never had one that never snapped trying to adjust. So good luck with that. And There you go, that's basically all it is. It's the same thread, so just unscrew it off your old one, screw it back on the new one. Same thing for this guy over here. You know, unscrew this guy. It'll come right off, put yours on there. Um, the bottom one, don't worry about. It is the same, straight up and down, there's no variance there. Those are identical. Here's a better look at the difference. One is the length of this guy. Even if this fit, it's a pain trying to get down inside the header panel to get to that. Um, and then the other is the fact that, yeah, one's offset, one's not. All right, here's the Zentech LEDs. You can see the apple control connected, ready to go. Plug and play. Pretty good quality. I used to deal with Zentech with HIDs back in the day, and it was always pleased, never had an issue. So, I get these installed. Pretty simple. Take the old bolt out, the new one in, plug it in. There we go. Alright, here's the big deal. So, I kind of already started going through this. We 
you have a ballast, you get a harness, some kind of keys. Here's the control unit. Same thing, pretty good quality. Built-in fans. You can see here where the LED is. And then where the demon eye will be. But this actually plug-in is for the beam which goes in your factory plug and the other one goes into the harness for the controller for the demon eye all right here's the fog lights difference they run into an issue they uh, the polarity is backwards on these so I kind of, where that guy is, I just had to notch the whole thing on the car end. That way you could just hit the bulb. But yeah, now I'll put the headlights in. All right, one side in, as far as headlight goes. I'll have to do some aiming and everything since I had to switch over to the adjusters. As far as fitment, it's not the worst thing in the world. Kind of sticks awkwardly. Um, this end, I had to pull the bumper over it. But it's in there and sits decently flush. We'll see after adjusting. Well, I knew everything was running a little too smooth. So here's where things got weird. So it goes in and everything, right? And you go to lock it. And the hole is too big. It just, it just falls out every time. Here's our finished product, headlight wise. I'm gonna start playing with the demon eyes here in a minute. I had to tuck the inners in on both sides. The passenger side's not sitting as much as I would like it to, but that's a market headlight. You're gonna give you that. Here's the RGB all hooked up and going. I got my running lights on currently. Let's turn those off. It looks pretty cool. All the different colors. Which you probably see a lot of is purple. So everything looks good, everything works like it should. Pretty easy to hook up. However, I spent the last probably half hour trying to hook up to this controller which has a button on it so you can, you know, kind of manually change it, but the whole purpose is it's supposed to be wireless and use your phone to control it. And it's not seen, it's, it doesn't seem to find it through the app. So I emailed XKGlow to see if they can help me out. Uh, I saw where other people were recently complaining of the same issue. The only other issue the wiring doesn't seem to be long enough. Now, I should be able to sneak the one side in to where I want it to be. 
but I'm gonna have to buy extensions. So, well, in the video there, hopefully uh, on the next one, I'll be able to show you guys it working with the phone uh, along with more things torn apart. Side here, it's gotta come off and uh, the new ones test fit, which are over here so that we can get them off the paint and on the car. So thanks for hanging in there, guys. I know I've been pretty busy, so I haven't been able to get another video out, so this kind of helps things a little bit. As always, keep those likes coming, keep the views coming, share, comment what you think, and uh, hopefully we can get this car ready for March. installed